Hello and welcome back and uh, in today's video we are going to be talking about splash screen so we're going to be creating a splash screen uh, that's going to show our branding our app branding uh, basically um, uh, for initial three seconds and then going to load our home page okay so this is what it's going to look like so you're going to have your branding show up and then after three seconds uh, you're going to have your home page okay so uh, let's go about and build this. So uh, I've got the main dot dart open and uh, we don't have anything. So let's first create a stateful uh, widget. So stateful, stful, let's choose that template, hit enter. Let's uh, call this my app. And uh, we wanna return something here. So for now, just return a text, um, anything is fine and uh, Okay, and uh, what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna create run app method. And uh, here, uh, we're gonna actually use our uh, material. So reason we're gonna use our uh, material app here, because um, if we create one material app, it has its own window and all the instances that it provides it provides us on navigate navigation control or app bar and stuff like that so every other screen that you add uh you add it inside that material app and basically that becomes part of one app ecosystem okay so that's why what we are doing is when we are initializing our app we are actually creating material app in the main so all the other pages when we're going to load they're all going to get added in this material app so navigation back button and stuff like that will automatically work now alternatively what you can do is you can create a home page um, or main page and uh, you can have that as a as a stateless widget and basically return material app from there so we're going to see that variation in future videos but uh, for now let's uh, take a look at this variation okay so you're going to have home and home is going to be my app like so okay now if i uh, go ahead and uh, start uh, let's take a look what we've got so far and uh, there is a reason why uh, we, have, we are creating <coughs> excuse me uh, why we are creating this um, uh, stateful widget not stateless because uh, what we want to do is uh, when we load the page we want to change the state after three seconds and uh, uh, we want to take certain actions after three seconds and uh, that action is basically navigating to a new screen which is why we thought like you know uh, like I mean it is required uh, uh, to have like you know this uh, uh, widget to be stateful okay all right so uh, we have that uh, a center of uh, that widget loading fine so uh, let's go ahead and uh, fix up uh, this widget a bit so let's do return a scaffold here. Scaffold is gonna have a body, and body is going to be center, and sent child is uh, we're gonna use Flutter logo. Flutter logo takes a size, and we're gonna put four hundred in this case. Let's go ahead and refresh this. Okay, that looks better. All right, so this is uh, gonna be our. This is gonna be our uh, splash screen. Uh, well, you can put whatever you want to put according to your branding and uh, fancy this up a little bit more uh, but we're gonna leave it at that okay so next thing we do is uh, we're gonna create a new uh, page or new file so let's create a new file call this home underscore page dot dart like so and here we're gonna import material so flutter material app and you're gonna create a stateless widget here because we don't want much around here just a text box home page and uh, let's give it center and uh, oh basically we're gonna return a scaffold and uh, body scaffold is going to be a center okay and this is going to be the text hello home page okay 
So once we've added that page, this is going to be our home page where we're going to navigate to. So let's go back to our main.dart. Let's import this. So import home page. And then we're also going to import, um, uh, there's something uh, called uh, dart.async. Uh, it's basically used for your asynchronous programming because we're going to use uh, asynchronous programming and features in this. So that's why we need that. So we're going to go in our state app, uh, my app state, uh, basically the state class, and uh, we're going to type init state. And uh, that's fine, super dot init state. And now here, uh, we can actually uh, initialize uh, that three second uh, delay or introduce that three second delay, which is going to be uh, loading our home screen, okay? So we're gonna call future dot delay or delayed. And uh, we're gonna give it a duration so duration and duration takes uh, seconds and uh, number of seconds basically uh, it's going to be three now second to that is uh, uh, this delayed also takes a uh, an anonymous function so we're gonna keep that and uh, and what we're going to do here is that we're going to call our navigator. So navigator dot push. And uh, we are passing the context that we have received. Route is going to be material page route. And um, going to use builder. This is going to pass a context to login page, so home page. So it's gonna initialize that. So comma here, comma here, and this, okay. All right, so with that, our, um, our page is ready. So we are simply uh, navigating to home page here after three seconds um, of a delay, okay? So let's go ahead and stop the app and uh, restart it. Okay, and uh, let's give it a, a few seconds to uh, start the build and uh, load the files. And then we should see our splash screen. Okay, so the app is installed and uh, Okay, there we have our splash screen, and uh, there you go. We have our home page loaded. Okay, so this is how you add a splash screen into your app, and uh, uh, basically uh, just just go from there. Now, remember the key is uh, your all your pages that you add have to will have to return a scaffold, not a material app. So, mistake you can do is basically have a material app here. Um, well, that's not going to work because this is a child uh, page. Uh, you want to add material app either at the run app level or create a new stateless widget and introduce material app over there and then add this uh, splash screen as the home for that. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's that's it for, uh, for this video. I uh, hope you guys uh, liked this video and thanks again for watching.